What's going on guys, we're back with episode 3 of my Feed the Beast machine tutorial series and today we're going over the implosion compressor. So the implosion compressor only uses standard machine casing and reinforced machine casing and obviously the implosion compressor block itself and the way you get the implosion compressor block is, and this is obviously the, in my opinion, the easiest way to make it because it can take a lot of resources if you make it other ways. It'd be four advanced alloys in the corners an electronic circuit on either side, a compressor in the center, and two advanced machine blocks on the top and bottom, and boom, you have the implosion compressor. So, this is pretty much the fi the finished product that you're going to get when you make it. It's 3x3x3, three by three by three, unlike the 3x3x4 three by three by that you can see over there from uh, last episode, and the block has to go on the top, the block itself. So, we're going to build it just like last time. I'm going to go through building it with you guys. So, first, we can take a look at the UI over here and you can see it's, it's got the same display as last time in the UI showing you how you're going to need to make each layer and it's got four layers again but the top layer is only the implosion compressor block itself so it's green and then we're going to build it from the bottom up so if you look you can actually see that the first and the third layer are both the same so it's going to go uh, four standard casings one in each corner and then a plus of reinforced machine casings to complete the three by three so we're just going to put one in each corner and then make the plus in the center with reinforced then if we look the next layer is reinforced on all sides except for the center so you can do that right now and there's nothing in the center unlike when there was lava last time Then if we look over here you can see that it's the same layer again you've got standard in all four corners and then a plus in the center of reinforced so put these in all the corners Oops. and then obviously you just put the implosion compressor on the top and boom turns to green so that means you're good to go other than the power that you need and like last time I'll show you guys unfortunately you can't mix and match blocks and especially you can't even upgrade them all so if you look I've replaced the standard with reinforced and the reinforced with advanced and that doesn't work incomplete machine casing so I don't know why you'd like to do that because it's pretty much just wasting resources but if you were curious you can't do that unfortunately so it kinda sucks but nothing you can do about it and this is how the implosion compressor is typically built because you can have it just sticking out of the top and you could also pretty much surround it on all sides obviously you need a place for the power to come in but I mean if you had like a wall here you could do this but I prefer to have it sticking out one block this is how I always build it and I think it looks perfectly fine so now when it comes to pumping stuff in the implosion compressor uses industrial TNT and it also is pretty much used for making iridium alloy ingots into iridium plates so if we want to pop one right up there it'll pull it out and it'll put it into the implosion compressor and it won't do anything because we don't have any power going into it but if it did you could then pull it out of the side just like before and then if we come over here, I'll show you guys how to power it. So I use three advanced or three ultimate hybrid solar panels, an MFSU, and then a medium voltage transformer, bringing it to 128 EU per tick. And then we have a low voltage transformer, bringing it to 32 EU per tick. Because if you look at the block itself, it says that the max EU per tick in is only 32. So that is not the same as the industrial blast furnace, which took medium voltage and it will in fact blow up if you mess it up I'm not going to show you guys that but it will blow up take my word for it and then if I just want to show you guys we can pop the ingot in there and uh, just grab some TNT from over here it should only take eight pop it in there boom real fast you get four dark ashes which are pretty much useless and an iridium plate which is most likely what you made this for so I hope this helped you out guys and if you'd like to see something special next time, be sure to post in the comments, and be sure to subscribe. It helps me out a lot, especially because this is a new channel, and I'll see you guys later.